Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video I'm going to show what Peyton and I ate. Um, I decided to film our meals for a day and put that together in a little video because I love watching videos like that. I don't know why, but for some reason they're really interesting to me so I wanted to make one. Um, Peyton is a year and a half old now and she is a fantastic eater. We really don't have to worry about her not wanting to eat certain food groups or different things. Um, so that's been really great and hopefully she stays that way. Um, but anyway, this is just what we ate in one day. This is in no way what we eat every day or anything like that. So um, let's get right into it. For breakfast today, we are having some muffins and pancakes. The muffins are for me. They are pumpkin with a little bit of cinnamon sugar sprinkled on top before they baked. And I like to make these and keep them in the freezer. That way they are easy whenever I need a snack or a quick breakfast. I just pop them in the microwave and they are really delicious. And Peyton is having some pancakes. These are my freezer pancakes that I have a separate video on showing how I make and freeze them. And I'm about to cut them into bite-sized pieces. And then we have some yogurt. And we actually like to dip the pancakes in the yogurt because it's a lot less sticky than syrup is. Um, so we're going to share the yogurt that is there. And then, of course, Peyton's milk. So here's what we're having for lunch today. On the left is some oatmeal with some sweet potato in it. Um, this is a really easy lunch for us because I keep sweet potato um, cooked in the freezer and so anytime I need it I can just pop it out and um, I usually try to do it ahead of time and just set it on the counter for about an hour and it um, thaws out just fine and so I also add a little bit of cinnamon and sugar in the oatmeal just a little bit to sweeten it up and then Peyton drinks three ounces of milk with every single meal and then on the right is my lunch which is two open-faced egg salad sandwiches and that's using just one boiled egg and I keep boiled eggs in the refrigerator most of the time just to make that easy and you can add like lettuce, tomato, cheese, whatever you want to these I just tend to keep them plain um, and then I have some pretzels and we will probably share either some strawberries or a fruit cup Okay, here is what's for dinner tonight. We have burrito bowls. Mine's actually in a bowl and then Peyton's is deconstructed. Um, we have some leftover Mexican rice that I cooked a couple days ago and that's what inspired this dinner. I wanted to use up that rice. So we have the leftover Mexican rice. We also have some black beans, some corn that was on the cob but I cut it off the cob. Um, and then Peyton has some chicken and cheese and I have some leftover ground beef from the other night and then some homemade pico de gallo. So it's our first time making this. Um, you can also add lettuce and then um, you can add cheese to the bowl. I decided not to because I'm lactose intolerant so I decided to have a dairy free meal for me. Um, but you can either eat it just with a fork or you can eat it with chips. You can actually put it in a tortilla for it to be burritos or whatever you want. Um, but that's what we're having for dinner tonight. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing what we had to eat today. Um, I am all the time trying to come up with new ideas, new meals that we can have that are budget friendly and fairly easy to make. I also tend to keep a lot of things pre-made in the freezer just for quick options so that we're not tempted to run out to eat um, at a fast food place or buy a whole bunch of junk food or something like that. I will have the recipe for those pumpkin muffins over on a corresponding blog post on my website and that will be linked in the description box down below. Um, those muffins are delicious. I made a double batch and then two days later I made another double batch of them because I ate so many of them. They are amazing. So definitely check out that recipe if you want to make them yourself. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this one, and I will be back next Wednesday with a new how-to video. Bye!